Ladies and gentlemen, there has been a change in Google Ads as of recently. And as I mean, as of recent, probably over the last few years, but over the past few months, I've been seeing more and more accounts get flagged for this. And essentially what this is, is a little verification program Google has. Now it doesn't outright say you have to do it, which is kind of weird in my opinion, but if you don't do it and they do ask you to complete this verification process, if you'd fail to do this in the amount of time they allot you, which is 30 days, it will pause your account and it won't let you run any ads, which is absolutely terrible because if you're having good campaign running and it's getting a good cost per lead, pausing that account will essentially make it restart from scratch and it will also cause you to get no more leads or sales that day. So that's something that really is something we need to get ahead of and this process can take 20 days to actually verify so it's much better to do this at the beginning of a campaign than at you know day 95 where you're actually seeing great results and then your campaign just pauses for no reason uh, <laughs> that's not someone we want to be so in today's video i'm going to walk you through essentially what the advertising verification program is inside of google ads how to do it what it does and essentially the downsides and upsides of doing it and not doing it. So it's gonna be a little bit of a comprehensive video, but this is something that every account inside Google Ads needs to do now. It's not something that Google Ads is going to essentially play around with, especially if they want you to do it, they will flag your account and they'll say, hey, we need this done. And if it's not done, we're just gonna pause the account. So it needs to be done. And if you don't want your account to pause, I highly recommend you should do it as well. All right, so to start off, what is the actual thing I'm talking about? And the thing I'm talking about, if we come over here to our Google Ads account, is a little thing called advertising verification. It's also called the advertising verification program inside of Google Ads. Here's a nice lengthy document about it. And essentially what happens if we don't do it? It says uh, advertisers will have 30 days from the day they receive the notification. So essentially what I said, if you get flagged, you'll have 30 days to complete this. If it's not successfully completed, your campaign and account will be paused and you will not be able to run ads, which is quite a bummer, especially if the account was running well. And as you all know, I'm not a big fan of pausing campaigns as it hurts results. And I'll probably put it back into bid strategy learning mode, which then causes another week or two to figure things out again and just produces terrible results. And it's just not somewhere we want to be. So what do we actually have to do to avoid this? And it's pretty simple. All we have to do is come up here to tools and settings, hit advertising verification. I'm gonna open this up on a new link here. Let this load in. And then as you can see here, we have a nice thing called advertising verification. Uh, the benefits of verifying, it builds trust, limits fraud. And essentially what Google is trying to do here is to create a space that is much more professional as there was a lot of people, especially in like the early 2000s where they weren't real businesses and there was a lot of spam and fake just companies out there really. And Google is trying its best to make sure this is the most professional advertising platform on the planet. And I think it's doing a really good job with the verification. Could you get around this? Probably, uh, but it does really help with getting rid of those advertisers that aren't legitimate and just making the entire platform a much better place to advertise on. I'm completely on board. Uh, with this advertising verification program. I do wish they would actually notify you at the beginning of the campaign to do this because it's like, listen, if I'm already running campaign 90 days in and I don't check it for a few days, it's like, this campaign may be paused without me knowing about it, which is kind of scary because I know a lot of business owners out here don't regularly check their actual Google ads. So uh, that would be really upsetting if your campaign just paused for no apparent reason. Another great benefit of the advertising verification process and another reason to do this is you have access to two additional extensions. The business name and the business logo extension are not accessible if you do not complete the advertising verification process, which is kind of a nice little thing to make people want to do it. If we hit the big blue plus icon here, as you can see, uh, we have no access to this. Same with the business logo as well. And we have to complete that process. Now, how long does this process take? It takes approximately 20 days. And uh, this varies quite widely. We've had it done in a few days. We've had it over 30 days. And we were actually going to restart the process for one of our clients because it's just taking way too long. And we're like, you know what? Let's just restart it. For whatever reason, it approved on, it was like, I want to say day 28 or something like that. It was really, really long. And um, for whatever reason, it approved. And, you know, sometimes it takes a little bit more, a little bit less. Google's not perfect, but it does do a pretty good job. So, you know, take it with a grain of salt. How do we actually start doing this? And it's pretty simple. All we have to do is hit start verification. Uh, if you are managing this for an actual client, you'll have to use uh, the actual advertising agency just to let Google know that you are the actual agency, not the client. If you are not, you can just hit no, and then you can do it yourself. I prefer having the actual clients fill this out themselves. 
as they have all these documents already, it's much easier for them as opposed to sending it all the way over to us and then having us fill it out, which is a big pain. I prefer doing it themselves, especially if you tell them, hey, this is something we just want to get ahead at at the very beginning of a campaign. Most people understand. They're like, yep, that's fine. We want access to everything. We want our account to be as successful as possible. If you want those additional extensions, this is something you're going to have to fill out. And honestly, I think Google is making this more and more of a needed thing as opposed to a recommended thing. And I can just talk about that in our actual experience. We've seen more and more accounts being flagged for this as opposed to, you know, six months ago where this really wasn't that big of a thing. Um, it's just, it wasn't. And now we're seeing Google ads really put that pressure on to make sure everyone's getting verified, making sure that your account is as professional and as transparent to the actual public as possible. And honestly, I think, like I said before, this is a good thing. It's not a super long verification process. And depending on what type of business you're running, it could be a little bit longer. Now, once we actually do complete this, what's gonna happen is we're gonna come back here. We will see that there is a pending status and it's saying, we're just looking at it, we're waiting. And then once it is actually approved, you'll have a little green check mark next to here. It looks really nice and you'll never have to actually touch this again. You're good. Um, when it comes to the actual questions inside of here, we can actually come to this document. It just asks you questions about your business, who pays for the ads, the industries you're in, uh, verifying your identity, making sure you're a real person, verifying the business operations, making sure your business is an actual real person. Pretty simple questions, doesn't take too long. And like I said, once we finish all of this stuff, we will have access to more ads. We will also be on Google's good th side. I really think this is just gonna become the way of the future. Uh, Google's probably gonna make sure everyone verifies at a certain point, uh, just because they do want as professional of a platform as possible. And I completely understand with that. I wanna be operating on a professional platform as well. And this is just another great step in moving towards that. Now I do have one thing to mention, and that is if you were looking to optimize your Google ads even further, and you're looking at how do I actually come up with the actual ideas of what I need to optimize? What do I gotta do? Do I gotta optimize my actual ads? Do I gotta optimize the actual key search keywords? When do I do this? When don't I do this? Uh, it's pretty simple. We created a optimization checklist. It's completely free and the link is down below. It walks you through on what to do on a weekly, monthly, and three month basis. It also allows you to jot down your results, which is kind of nice. So you can see your results go continue to go up month over month. And uh, I think most people running Google ads should have some sort of a checklist. It just helps with the overall process, making it feel more professional, making sure you don't forget anything. I'm prone to forgetting things. And uh, it's just nice. It makes your life a lot less stressful. So, cause you're not forgetting anything. So might be something to check out. And again, like I said, completely free and the link is down below. Now, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, about the advertising verification process inside of Google Ads or any other questions regarding Google Ads, feel free to leave a comment down below. I will do my best to get back to it. There's been a lot of comments as of late, uh, but I do my best to get back to them. It may take a day or two, but I will try my best. <laughs> other than that, you guys have a wonderful day. Take care and I wish you all well.